Um, and actually it's been really interesting because it's had a big impact on Ivy in particular. Um, she seems to have struggled with the change and adapted to it and we've had lots of hustle and bustle going on in the house so um, kind of her arousal bucket has been quite full and as a result when we've been going out training I've been finding that arousal levels are sky high as soon as we get out the door. Um, she's struggled to focus and the quality of what she's doing just is nowhere near what it was pre-house move. So um, I'm having to adapt a little bit to how I'm managing that and being making a few changes in her day-to-day -day life but I thought I'd share a quick video it's not on anything in particular um, but just a general training session that we're doing at the moment and how I am adapting to the fact that she's turned into a bit of a wildling so hopefully it's interesting um, we'll give it a go and see when we get on so at the moment while she is struggling to cope with life I'm starting every training session and outing the same so we're getting out of the car or going to the location that we're training in and then I'm just giving her some time to settle in so you can see that she's quite wired she's quite all over the place I've not asked her for heel I'm just walking some slow circles just to give her time to settle into the environment and to decide that she's ready to switch on and connect with me because there's absolutely no point me getting her out of the boot while she is completely off her rocker um, and asking for any complex behaviours so I'm just not going to get success. And so you saw there that she gave a shake and she connected with me and that shake is often a sign that a dog is kind of trying to decompress a bit, they kind of shake it off. Um, so that's a really good sign. And then we can keep walking around and she's still very much engaged with the environment, but then we get a check-in. So every check-in she's offering me, I'm rewarding her. And then you'll slowly see that as we continue walking around, those check-ins become more regular and she starts to walk with me in the environment, which to me is a sign that we're then ready to start training. So in this session, we probably continued doing this for another minute or so until I felt that she had really settled in and was ready to start working with me. But I won't show you at all because it is a little bit boring. So we'll move on to our actual training session. Now, in hindsight, I probably would have done this session differently because as we were walking over to this area which I was going to use uh, for hunting we flushed to partridge I think they were um, so obviously arousal levels went sky high again um, but we started out by having her off lead just walking around the area trying to keep connected and you can see it's definitely not the standard that she normally offers and at point she did disconnect from me um, like there so i just call her back in and then we continue walking for a little while but really again i'm just looking for some connection and engagement off lead this time in a more interesting area before we start having a little go at doing some hunting and so you'll see her i cast her off to start the hunting um, and she buggers off really um i wait a little while just to see if she just needs this little blast and then she's going to come back to me but she doesn't um so then i decide to interject to stop her from free hunting too much although i probably should have stopped it a little earlier but as you can see she came back on the whistle so she's not lost the plot to the point that she can't think and respond at the moment which is a good sign um, but based on that, I then adapt how I approach the exercise now. So I cast her off to hunt, and I'm sorry about the camera position that you can't see me, but you'll see I'm making myself a lot more animated. I am walking zigzags rather than just going straight forward. Um, and I'm just trying to be that bit more engaging just to try and keep that connection while she is struggling. So obviously these are all things that I had started to fade out and ideally I do want to be phasing them out but I also need to be very conscious of the dog that I'm working with and the state that they're in at that moment um, and so Ivy needs more support at the moment to remain engaged with me and so that's what I'm giving her and hopefully over time as she adjusts to the move and everything that's gone on with that then we will be able to start filtering this stuff back down again. Um, but I also feel like it is important that I still give her this outlet to do some hunting and to use those instincts because um, I think things might get worse if she doesn't. So trying to find that balance um, I think is interesting and it's not something that I've got right yet. Um, 
but just something to consider, I guess. So we do a little bit of hunting there. She found a few things while she, we were hunting, brought them back, which was really nice. And then I'm implementing something that Georgia Selby actually uh, recommended to me. She is a fabulous trainer who runs Trails for Tails dog training and has also set up Gambling Gun Dog. So I'll include some links to her stuff in the description below. But as part of Gambling Gun Dogs, she set a challenge where she got us hunting and then she got us practicing our heel work in the area that we've been hunting. And so this is something that Ivy previously really struggled with and it's still clearly a work in progress. But it's just a really nice way to help bring them back down from that more exciting activity of hunting whilst keeping that connection and as Georgia said if you're out beating often you'll hunt and then you'll have to walk your dog between drives and so you want them to be able to transition from that high energy activity to low energy um, really quickly but it's also a nice way to help with arousal particularly with Ivy at the moment she's struggling with arousal and so that heel walking helps to start to settle things back down again so whenever we're doing high energy exercises we're then balancing them out with some more low energy exercises um, just to try and help her better manage herself again if she switches off I just call her back in um, and we restart so you'll see I'm not being very picky about kind of the standard of stuff at the moment I just want to try and keep that connection and engagement and that is my main focus in all of our training sessions at present so then that worked well she's starting to come down she's remaining connected with me which is good so then we just finished up with a little steadiness exercise so again getting her to sit and remain calm uh, while I throw a few things out you'll see she tried the little monkey there um, to break but she made the decision in that moment to stop so I didn't say anything um, and she managed herself so I was actually quite pleased with that obviously I would have been a lot more pleased if she didn't try and go for the rubber ball um, but the fact that she was able to actively think for herself um, to manage herself in that situation was a bit of a win for me so I will take that given the current circumstances and then we just stand around together for a little while with those distractions out um, getting her to stay with me um, and not bog off after them so that was really it for the session we're keeping things short and sweet at the moment um, and we're trying to end all of our sessions on a high so hopefully that's interesting I will probably do another video of some of the stuff I'm doing at home with Ivy to try and help with her arousal management um, but just a bit of insight into what we're doing at the moment as part of our little diary. So as always, if you have any tips or any advice, please feel free to pop them in the comments below. I have been struggling recently um, with Ivy at the moment. I have been finding things quite frustrating. So any advice that anyone can offer would be very, very welcomed. But that's it for this session. So thanks for watching.